Good morning. It's day eight. It's a cool morning. It was a freezing night, but um, I anticipated that and put on all the clothes that I had when I went to bed. So I had a decently comfortable night, especially after that beautiful swim. And I'm just leaving uh, Sheep Lake, I think it's called. And today is Goat Rocks. The thing that, uh, the area that scared me more than any place on the PCT last time I was here. So that should be exciting. Uh, cross my fingers, I make it over the, over the, um, the peak. You'd be hard pressed to arrange a flower garden that's as beautiful as, as so many of these wildflowers that I see. Good Lord, how beautiful that is. I absolutely love it. Well, sometimes on your hike you have to turn around and see what's behind you. And there she blows. Mount Adams. I just can't seem to escape that mound. It just tells you just how big these these mountains are out here out west. Beautiful valley. And there's a mountain in the distance, and I can't say with certainty what that is. Uh, but it's all beautiful. Look at that gorgeous valley. And where I'm heading is is beyond epic, so stand by. Hey folks, just emerged from the shady woods over here, and uh, and so it begins. Check this out. Which way should I turn? This way. And look at this wide open, amazing area. I got to pan off. Yeah, crazy, huh? And I am not going over that. There is another peak that maybe is more frightening that I'm heading over. And this, I guess, begins the Goat Rocks area. And there are mountain goats up here. How beautiful. I stripped my clothes down just to my regular sun hoodie. And I uh, got a drink, tightened my shoes. I, Frankly, uh, I've, sadly, after only like 160 miles on trail, I got a bunch of holes in my shoes, which is not good when you're 350 miles or more from the end. But uh, So I use super glue to glue them shut. We'll see if that works. Okay, press on. Hey guys, I just summited that area and gone through Kispis Pass at 6,500 feet. And I'm gonna go around here. You might be able to see the, the trail somewhere out there. Go all the way around and, and then go into another uh, breathtaking valley. So this isn't where I go right over the ridge, it's the next one. Yeah, who? At 6,800 feet, it's uh, before 11 a.m. I'm winded from the relentless climb, and I think I get about 2,000 more feet of vertical before I get over the knife edge. And I see some hikers coming. I gotta, oh, maybe they're ahead of me. It's slightly off center and to the left. Check this rock out. It's finally been here for the millennia, falling down from on high. And it's just a series of a million cracks and the top just shedding. I wonder how many more years it has before it goes to nothing.
Well, if I had to do that again, I would not traverse the whole way across the snowfield. I would have worked my way over there. You can probably just barely see outline of uh, a track because if you slip and fall there, you'd have a more gentle slide, granted into maybe some water, but over here it was quite steep and there's a ledge right in front of me and you go straight down there and end up in rocks, all ugly. Well, I survived the first peril of the day. Next. That is Mount Rainier. I've been uncertain a few times, but yeah. Look at how beautiful that valley is down there. I am not going this way, although there is a trail. I am going this way. Got my poles tied in because it's a freaking cliff on the other side of those rocks. And that edge right up you see in front of you? Yeah, that's, uh, I'm going over that. Lovely. Well, there's the knife's edge, and that's where I'm going. Uh, I got a little nervous. I thought about the the other trail, which is supposed to be horse ready, but it's covered with snow and ice, and it's a 60-degree slope. No way. I'm coming this way. Yikes. Well, I made it to the summit, and because I got confused, I started summoning old Snowy. I got halfway up that, I was scared shitless, and I was like, where the hell am I? And then I could see the t PCT going along the mountains back further down, so I was like, oh my god, I'm retreating. I don't need any more of this than I've already got. So I still have a steep section, that, in fact, the peak, and then it starts heading downhill. God almighty, I think this has taken a few years off my life. If you look closely, there's a line across the summit. That is the trail. It is less hairy than this, although it causes you to stay the heck focused. But what I have left is right here in front of me is worse because on my left side, beside on the other side of this rock, is a freaking cliff. Oh man. And I got lost coming up. I lost the trail and did some rock scrambles going up 90 degree pitches with loose rock. Terrified. And uh, I think that was only because I got lost. Oh boy. Can't wait to get down on flat terrain. Oh, just some simple downhill walking on loose rock with a thousand foot drop off or more on either side. Oh my god. Oh, get me the hell down from here. Okay, I gotta go this way, down this cliff before I get to the, the knife edge. Walk further down there. There's a good place to rest if you want to fall off. To your... There's the, the snow patch I didn't. I opted not to go through the second one. And I... Climbed up that from over here, and I came down here, and I went up to like the the second, like just below the summit of Snowy Mountain. Oh my God! Oh boy! <clears throat> Going along that ridge line, which is comparatively easy. Once I get down from this ridge line, I'm still I don't know. Hundreds of feet above it or more. I'm gonna keep heading down. And there's. Well, it's like 1.30. I started before 11, straight ahead, straight across the picture over here. And in the past, I've gone across snow fields. There's, there's snow fields over there and snow fields here, but they're quite precarious. And if you fall, you're gonna take a uh, a very long tumble, and then if you fall on this one, you'll have broken a pile of bones there and probably carry enough momentum to go right over the cliff. There's a cliff. So I went up, 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 up to that. And then there's a little bit more over there, snowy peak, and then back down. At times I lost the trail and I was doing handholds and terrified with lock, rocks coming loose, going over the edge. Then I found the trail again, 
still I, I it was probably just as scary coming down because there was so much loose loose rock and sand and lava sand I guess so that that part is done and uh, I'm next doing the part that would normally scare me but given everything I've done but I gotta go in that direction I'm gonna go over all those peaks and then eventually it goes kind of down in the valley to the right oh, that will be interesting I've done it before and I was a little unnerved before but now that I've done the hard really hard part it can't be as hard and there's faithful Mount Rainier watching over things what a beautiful valley take it all in Oh boy, more a great relaxing trail. That's where I'm heading. And this is, I guess, more due west to Mount Rainier. Look at those peaks here. And right at the top of a little hill, there's, our, there's some beautiful trees. And that's where I came from. I thought I was at the end and somehow it would become easier, but it just switches on the other side of the mountain where I couldn't see from before. Uh, still a little unnerving, maybe not as bad, but boy, oh boy, is this tiring, taking me a long time. But, but exciting. What can I say? It's exciting as heck. I look back at this with fond memories from my rocking chair. Well, I have done the hardest part today. I still have some trail behind me, but I, I kind of was came above the, climbed the trees there, ran up there, and then went up to so-called Snowy Peak, and then came down there, and went on this little narrow pathway for the last few miles. There's a few more, there's like another mile or two of it. Uh, but look at that view. Wow. Crazy. And Rainier is just behind the hill up there that I will be climbing. And I will be heading down here. I can, for at least a few minutes ago, I could see, yeah, further down there, I think there are some PCT trails. And that's where I'm heading. But I gotta go up high and then around just for, just for grins and giggles, I guess.